Hey YouTube, this is PD here with another vlog. Recently I picked up the Tamron 28-75 F 2.8 lens. This is my first lens I ever got, so I wanted to upgrade some of my camera equipment. So I started off using my iPhone X, then I was using my GoPro Hero 7 and upgraded that to a mirrorless full frame camera. So also I picked up a variable ND filter by Polar Pro. This one is the Peter McKinnon edition. I did some research on some of the devices I wanted to get and this one was one of the best that I liked. Also, I did get an AlphaGuard um, scan for my camera and for my lens. Check out my other video for that full install. So the Polar Pro Variable ND filter, I did already open this. I just wanted to show you guys exactly what it comes with. So let's take a look. This one is a 67 millimeter. So it fits any lens that has a 67 millimeter lens. So the box is pretty fancy. It has like a unique design and it's very good quality. So inside the box comes with a handkerchief where you can wipe off the ND filter lens or you can use it for wiping off your lens for your camera. Also it comes with a soft pouch where you can put the filter in as well. So it also comes with all this other extra stuff inside. The variable ND filter comes in it's a nice silver, it looks like a aluminum case. Um, it has the signature well put um, and then inside is the variable ND filter. So it has a cover where you can use so you don't have to always be touching on the lens, which usually I keep it on, on most of the time. And besides that, that's all that comes in that box. Inside the Tamron 28-75 2.8 lens. So I was actually very excited when I got this lens since I did a quite a bit of research on it. This Tamron 28-75 2.8 is very popular and it was sold out and was very hard to get and right when I got it, it was sold out again. So of course I did open this lens as well. I couldn't wait pretty much so I reboxed it and put it back in there. It's very light. I've seen a few reviews state already. It comes with the lens hood and the filter size is 67 millimeter. It is a variable zoom lens. This lens is very high quality. I like how it's built, how lightweight it is. Of course, it's my first lens, so I don't expect too much, but overall looking at it, I can say it's one of the best lenses I've, I've seen as, as well as I held other lenses, but it's the first one I ever actually owned. So I paired this 28-75 with this Polar Pro ND filter, which the Polar Pro ND filter I did a few a uh, bit of research on and I wanted something to help with the brightness outside. So I live in Florida where it's super sunny all the time. It has also a good look to it. It has a two to five stops on it, meaning that it allows more and less light in between those stops. So I look at more, since I'm new to camera equipment, um, a lot of this stuff I'm new to, but give me a moment as I learn it. Um, this ND filter is, I would say one of the best that I've seen based off a few re, uh, YouTube reviews.
So last we have the unboxing of the Sony a7 III. So I was super excited to get this um, as well. If you wanna see the full install of me putting this lifeguard by Afflegard scan on, um, check out the link below. I'll have that link as well. But this Sony a7 III, I was super excited to get my first full frame mirrorless camera. I did decide to get this over the newer models that just released, um, only because I want a, a hang of learning cameras in general. So. so in the box, it comes with pamphlets, other stuff, um, including manual, warranty, and so forth. Since I was excited to get the a7 III, I did already unbox it. For the video purposes, I did repackage everything, so I put everything back in, just to show you guys exactly what it comes with. So inside the box comes with the AC adapter, a battery, the micro USB cable for charging and to connect to the computer, as well as a shoulder strap. But besides that, that's all. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for my review on all of these devices as well.